Two of the world's leading education agencies have presented Otago Polytechnic with a prestigious appointment in recognition of its leading edge development. The Polytechnic's Dr Wayne McIntosh has secured a position with the United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organisation along with the Commonwealth of Learning. He currently heads the Open Education Resource Foundation, offering free online university level courses for students. And he joins me now. Good evening, Wayne. Good evening, Rebecca. Now tell us a little bit about your new appointment. Well, the UNESCO Commonwealth of Learning Chair Network in Open Education Resources is an international network committed to furthering the aims of open education. Uh, open educational resources are education materials which reside in the public domain or are licensed using an open license which allows people to reuse, remix, revise and reuse these materials without cost. Uh, we're joining the network. There's a UNESCO chair at Athabasca University in Canada as well as one at the Open University in the Netherlands. And our role and designated project is to support the implementation of the OER University, uh, which is a collaboration of like-minded institutions from uh, uh, five continents uh, aiming to provide more affordable access to education using open education approaches. Now you're currently the director of the OER Foundation. Will you remain in that position? Yes, I will. Uh, the Open Education Resource Foundation is a registered charity that provides uh, networking, international leadership and support to education institutions to achieve their strategic objectives using open educational resources. And the OER University, the coordination thereof, is a flagship initiative of the OER Foundation. Now, how has Otago Polytechnic become a global leader in this groundbreaking area? Well, it's, it's quite interesting. Uh, Otago Polytechnic is, in fact, the world's first tertiary education institution to adopt a default open uh, content licensing policy. Um, and in fact, the open policy is the reason why we established the OER Foundation here at Otago Polytechnic. And um, this is based on their deep commitment to sustainable education practice. Uh, OER is a renewable and a sustainable resource. What does the future look like for education now that people who couldn't previously access tertiary, tertiary qualifications can? It's looking a lot better now. Um, Research conducted by UNESCO and the Commonwealth of Learning predict that we need to provide an additional 100 million places in tertiary education uh, over the next 15 years. Um, you can do the mental math. That's the equivalent of building four large universities, roughly the size of the University of Auckland, every week for the next uh, 15 years. And that's not going to happen. But with OER, we can widen access to more affordable education, particularly for learners excluded from the privilege of a tertiary education. What is your philosophy for learning? Well, I'm, I'm a teacher by choice. I joined this profession to share knowledge freely. Uh, my fundamental philosophy is that education is a human right. And if we have the technologies to make education accessible uh, and more affordable, we are, this is what we should be doing. Well, congratulations on the appointment, Dr. Wayne McIntosh from Otago Polytechnic. Thanks for your time. Thank you.